right, y'all. Last video for today. At least I think it is, unless I get another idea. You know I'm spontaneous. Um, this one, this video is about, uh, you ever everyone's tell you, um, you know, especially if you're single or you know a friend, you've probably said this to somebody else. You got a lonely friend or whatever, somebody that can't find a girlfriend, boyfriend, you like, don't worry about it. You're going to find somebody who likes you just for who you are. You are perfect just the way you are. Pump the brakes on that shit. Because... Here's the thing. God damn it. No. Silence. Silence, punk. Silence. Damn it. Alright, sorry about that, y'all. Um. Yeah, someone will like you for just who you are. Back that shit up because. That is not true. Sometimes something is fucking wrong with your friend or with you. You might have to take a step back and look in the mirror and see, be like, okay. And sometimes it could be something physical. Shit, your teeth could be all fucking crooked. You could have a unibrow. You have bad breath. You could have a ton of acne. You could, you know, have a, you know, really bad receding hairline. Who knows what it is? You know what I'm saying? You have a, it could be something physically about you that is really off-putting to someone. It could be the way you dress. You could be dressing like, like don't nobody else dress like you, cause like you might want to take a tip out of GQ and just change a few things. You know what I'm saying? Now let, let's get this. Now some of y'all be like, oh, well, you talking about superficial thing? You know, someone that still love me for who? I, I, yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah, but. T take away all the clothing and hair and teeth and jewelry and all that other outside shit. Sometimes something's fucking wrong with you. Sometimes you put off people. You just can't have. You can't hang with other pe with people. You ever meet them people and you you hear them talk? They get into group conversation. You're like everybody's like, eh, what the fuck is wrong with him? Cause you know what I mean. Like that's what I'm talking about. You might have to look at your conversational skills. You might have to look at your motherfucking hygiene. You might have to look at um, how you treat men and treat women, how you speak to people, your mannerisms, your etiquette. You got to look at a lot of these things. Sometimes, okay, you want to talk about, I don't know, um, what's the, I, I don't know, the Star Trek convention you went to. Now, there are a group of people, subculture, that really loves that, and I'm sure you can find a wife and all that. But just people that go to those that even the Trekkies don't want. You got what I'm saying? You know, they always say there's somebody for everybody out there. And I actually do believe that that's true. But you make it harder to find that somebody the more specialized of an individual that you are. You got what I'm saying? So if you kind of appeal to a broad spectrum, it'll make your chances of getting someone sooner and faster that you get along with. If you're very just specialized and narrow, like the only thing you do, you just live Star Trek. And I'm not saying the Star Trek is corny and everybody in the Star Trek is nerds. I'm not saying that. I'm just trying to look at something that a lot of us know that people look at certain people that are too into that as being a little off. You know what I'm saying? It could be knitting. I don't know. You meet a guy that knits all the time, so all he does is knit sweaters all day. You know, maybe something's a little wrong with him. And whenever he meets people, all he wants to talk about is knitting and his cat. Sometimes that's weird. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes if you, and this is basically relationship advice, you know. If you are going to, if you are looking for someone to be with, make sure you're getting out and you are socializing yourself with as many people as possible. Make as many of your friends and acquaintances as you can because the longer you hang with them, the better. I'm just gonna tell you something, I mean, about myself. I mean, there was a point in my life where I was just on this long drought, like for like five years, like I couldn't find anybody. I couldn't figure out what the fuck was wrong. And at that time I was insecure. Uh, my body was my crutch. You know, I was in the gym all the time. I was a gym rat, but I wasn't able to totally really have I guess carry on a, 
I don't want to say a proper conversation. It was something about, I don't know. It was something about how I was socialized. And a lot of, uh, I, I always tell you, you know, I came up in a really strict religious household. And I didn't have much experience with women or getting out, period, going to house parties, going to dances. I wasn't really allowed to play sports. So as you can see, not being able to do all those things when I was younger, it can mess, mess up a kid. So as I got older, I got a lot better looking. So the coochie count increased. But there was a point when I really started to look for a woman. And at that time, it was something wrong. And it was weird. In that fifth year, something clicked. I don't know what it was. It was getting out more. It was talking to people. It was something. And it was, bam, I had it. I had it. And I've never looked back since. But I wish I had had it a lot younger. Some of y'all had it in fucking fifth grade. You know what I'm saying? You, you was a ladies' man then. You knew how to get the ladies then. I'm glad I got it when I got it. Some guys don't never get it. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's the key. I think the key is basically socializing yourself properly. You know what I mean? People that say, I don't like people, something's wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? There are people out there that, you know, people are like, well I, well, I mean specifically, I don't like people because they're so self-centered or they're evil or they're mean-spirited. Not all people are like that. Don't be so introverted. There are people that are like you that may want to see the beauty in humanity meet people that are on your level. You can meet them. They're out there, like I said. But, uh, like, I have a ton of friends. There's a wide variety of people that I know. So I've met all walks of life and been able to see into different aspects of culture and life. And, you know, I think that helps me grow as an individual. So, yeah. Um, someone won't always like you for who the fuck you are. So when, when someone tells you that, when someone says that to you, let that be a cue, an omen, something to say to yourself, wait a minute, I might, I may have some issues, okay? So what I'm saying, take a seat, take a seat, move the seat back, and just analyze yourself, and be honest, not lying to oneself, and then grow from that, and make corrections, okay? Because no matter who you are, you know, you, you can have something wrong with you. And it may be all put people. And I think I've talked long enough. Okay. Bye.